Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about is how to avoid ink splatters when you're tattooing. This could be a super annoying thing that happens whenever you are tattooing and whenever you are first starting out. So it's kind of hard to try to figure out what the problem is, especially if you are new to tattooing and it could be a super frustrating thing to try to overcome. So I'm here to help you get through it. In this video, I'm going to break down what makes the actual ink splatter out of your tube and how to actually help that from happening and also what to do if it does happen mid tattoo. All of these things can definitely be beneficial to you if this is happening, just to resolve the issue quick enough to get back into that tattoo and finish without having an issue. If you're new to the channel, I'm Brandon from Tattooing 101, and make sure you like and subscribe down below and hit the little bell notification button so that you can be updated on all of the new videos we come out with each week. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I have seen in my career that causes issues with ink splattering and things like that when it comes to actually tattooing would have been on a traditional machine. This is what I used whenever I first started tattooing and this will be the first point I have to give on ink splattering. So with a traditional machine, the way that it runs, you know, the needles being pushed by the amateur bar, all of these things. So the biggest issue I had with a traditional machine and ink splattering would be not using a rubber band or not using a rubber band correctly so make sure whenever you are setting up your machines if this is the type of machine you're using and also some rotary machines need a rubber band as well if they're using needle bars instead of cartridges things like that so make sure you're using a rubber band to stop this ink spitting from happening all you have to do is wrap it down below come up around the actual needle bar and another thing it'll still spit if you have the rubber band on here and you want to make sure that there's no kinks in it that it's just perfectly on there because if it's too tight or you have too many rubber bands you know just use one if you have two on there or three it's going to cause a lot of tension and going to make that ink spit so just make sure you're using one rubber band and it's on there correctly so that it stops this ink spitting from happening Okay, let's move on to the other causes that could make ink to spit out of the actual cartridge or the tube. So let's get into it with an actual rotary machine and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so the first issue that could happen um, causing ink to splatter on actual human skin clients or fake skin would be running your machine too fast. I'm gonna show you what this looks like so you can see if this is the issue that you're having. So you can see that my machine's running really fast, so all of this ink is just immediately splashing everywhere. You can see that that's gonna make a mess. If I try to wipe this down right now, it's just gonna cause a big mess with everything. And it also wiped away your stencil trying to clean up that mess. So the way to resolve this would be if you're using a pen style machine that doesn't have a power supply, you just turn your voltage down, or if you have a power supply, turn that number down. I like to stick between six and 10.5, depending on what I'm doing. So make sure you're not running your machine too high or this will happen to you. And after resolving that issue, you could see that there is no more ink splattering. Okay, I have a question for you guys. So what should you check on your needles or cartridges before starting on a tattoo on any client? Um, all you have to do is comment down below if you know the answer. Awesome, so another issue that can happen to your needle or tube that'll cause splatter, it could be clogged up with a paper towel or having Vaseline clogged up in your tube right here. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna bring a little Vaseline over. I'm gonna put it right here just so you can get a look about how it could look if it is clogged up. So it doesn't take much. All it takes is a little bit of Vaseline right there in the bottom of the tube, which you could see right there. And what's this going to do is stop the flow of the ink inside the cartridge, and it's just going to make a mess. It's gonna splatter everywhere. Another thing that can happen is if you are wiping off your tube with a paper towel and you're doing it with your machine on, trying to get the water out of it or anything, there could be paper towels stuck in between the actual needles. So you wanna make sure that if that happens, you just have to dispose of the cartridge completely. You don't wanna keep that cartridge. You don't wanna to try to pull the paper towels out because it spreads out the needles and you don't want that. So that's one other thing to look at if your ink is splattering as well. But this is how to resolve it if you just have a little bit of Vaseline on there. So I'm gonna dip it in my ink and you could see that it is just making a mess. You could see it immediately splattered everywhere. I dip again, immediately again, just splattering. So all you have to do is turn your machine off, come over here, make sure you're wiping it with a paper towel, and then you go to your rinse cup. And all you have to do with your rinse cup is dip it in there, making sure all of the ink and all of the paper towel is completely cleaned out of that tube. And when you do that, you could dip back into your black ink then bring it over and you can clearly see that there is no more ink splatter. So making sure that your cartridges or tubes are clean 
will be a big factor on keeping your surface clean and ink splatter free. Even if you do everything correctly and everything's set up the appropriate way, sometimes you just have a little bit of ink splatter happen. Um, this is normal from time to time. If it's happening all the time, then obviously there's a bigger issue that you have to try to figure out what's wrong, and it could be one of these three things as well. Another thing could be if you are running your needle way, way far out. So I'll show you what that looks like. You can see my needle is really, really far out there. This could also cause a problem with your ink spitting out everywhere. So that's one other key point to think about if you are setting up your machine and having this happen. Um, now this issue isn't going to be a problem all the time. It's just sometimes you'll have your ink splatter. If you're hanging your needle really far out there, you could see it start to spray everywhere. So that's one more thing to look out for, making sure that your needle's hanging out the appropriate length so it doesn't cause any of these issues. I'm gonna show you how your machine's supposed to run without any of this ink splattering problems. So you have no issues. You can see that I'm not having any ink splatter at all. Even if I did tattoo this area, I'll show you right here. It's not spraying everywhere. It's keeping in a solid area and not smearing everywhere. You can see it's puddling up really nicely and not spraying everywhere like all the other issues that we've seen. Right like that. So one thing, if it does happen to you and you're in the middle of a tattoo and you're getting really frustrated, the one key point to think about is here. Let's say that we have a big puddle right there. So what you want to do is dab it instead of wiping it. That way it doesn't wipe off your stencil completely. Okay, so that is how to resolve any issues if you're having problems with ink splatter and what to look out for if you are having ink splatter issues, what to look for to be able to resolve the issue. If you like content like this, the best way to keep up to date on information is to like, subscribe down below and hit the little bell notification so you can get updated on all the videos we come out with in the future. And also sign up for our email list. I'll leave a link down below in the comment section so you could sign up for that and get emails involving anything tattoo related. As always, you guys have a wonderful day.